And he just keeps going! Man, someone call Kenny G, that is a long-held note! Hello and welcome back to the channel, I'm your host and pundit of Prelude, Ken Levine. I'm a singer and vocal coach here on YouTube and today we are looking at Antif Aslam live singing a song, Peli Nazar, the piano version. Um, I've never heard uh, Antif Aslam sing, but apparently he's got pipes, so we're going to check him out. But before we do that, I'd like to remind you all to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the great stuff we produce here every week on the channel. Now, um, yeah, let's get started. All right, uh, again, um, I know nothing about this singer, but... He's been recommended, so we're going to give him a try. Let's have a listen here. Hmm. Piano. You can hear it in the background. Very breathy approach here. A lot of cell phones filming him. Hang on, hang on, hang I just need to stop it right here. I'm going to see if there's any closed captioning. No, <laughs> there isn't. Um, <clears throat> the audio is a little distorted. Um, so I'm not sure if this might be like a copy of a copy. It's not super clear. But his voice is coming in very clear here. Actually, I might just actually turn it down a bit. Very breathy approach. Typical of piano ballads. So, I'm going to guess this is a love song. This is how... Um, <laughs> Most of these breathy approach piano ballads go, so we're just gonna go with that. Pretty sure it's some kind of love gone wrong, or I devote my life to you, or something like that kind of song. Uh, let me know in the comments below what the song actually means. I would like to know. Um, all right, so handsome dude singing a love song. What could be wrong with that? To would like a little bit more tone at the end of that phrase there but the the audience seems to know this song and they they are digging it look at all those lights around him sing with me, sing with me. Okay, that takes a lot of confidence. You need to really know your audience, that they are there to hear you, and they also know the song. It looks like he's in the middle of like a boxing ring or something. It's not necessarily a traditional stage. You can see up top there, it says grand finale. I'm not entirely sure the significance of that particular phrase above there. Maybe that's, I don't know, is that the name of his album? Or is that... Um, I should do a little bit more research before I dive into these uh, songs, but it seems to me that uh, this is a, this is a, he's a, he's a very confident performer, and uh, the way he's singing this song right now, it seems like it's a very well-known song. I'm the dummy who doesn't know the song. Okay, and we're getting a little bit more tone now from his his voice. We're getting a little bit more um, less of that breathy, wispy tone intimate tone and now much more into uh, 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 a much more supported tone interesting vibrato oh okay we're, we're back to the second verse I guess that, that's a security team right there <laughs> making sure nobody does anything crazy oh 
کر دیا دیوانہ درد خاص چین چینا عشق کے احساس Okay, he's got to have in-ear monitors on, like, in a room that big, which seems like it's a massive room, given the wide-angle shot that we had. He's walking out into the audience and in front of the monitors. So I, I can't tell. I should have been looking, paying more, more close attention. That is, that's why you have in-ear monitors, so you can do that sort of thing. Go out into the audience, inter act with them though they seem petrified like they're like if I, if I stand up and do anything I'm gonna get tackled by a security squad <laughs> no, no in-ear monitor there Oh boy, those girls are enthusiastic, but man, they sound terrible. Wow. I mean, I I love it. I love that he's like hey all right we can all sing along but uh <laughs> they're just like screaming at the top of their lungs and totally off key but it's it's cute it's ador it's adorable it's adorable <laughs> sort of get a a sense of the scope of the room. Not a traditional theater. It looks like a conference hall or like a like a big box store or something. Where was this film? Nice to be surrounded by your Praetorian guard <laughs> wherever you go. Um, yeah, yeah, well, <clears throat> testament to his popularity, obviously. Okay, I just want to focus in on something that he was doing here earlier. Interesting uh, vocal technique. It's, <clears throat> I would say it's a, uh, it's not like your full throated, it's full throated, your connected sound. Um, it feels like it's a, uh, a little bit, a little bit sort of um, constrained, and. Um, this is interesting. Yeah, you hear that sort of, uh, a little bit more constraint on that vowel. It's not as open as you would expect. It's like he's just, uh, he's sort of drawing you in a little bit. It's in interesting, interesting to me. Uh, interesting choice that he's making there. Or maybe he doesn't have a choice. Sometimes you get into a si situation as a singer, you're in the middle of the song, Something happens that sort of throws you out of your um, uh, your I, I don't know how how your vocal alignment, and you sort of have to make do. <laughs> you have to sort of suppress a I don't know a burp or something like that. I don't know. Um, it, it happens. You're out there singing. You're doing a live thing, and it's it's not a studio where you can go back and just sort of redo the take and make it perfect. Um, but maybe this is how this song goes, and this is how he normally sings it. Uh, I don't know. That's you can take that with a that criticism or that observation with a hefty grain of salt. <laughs> Tujhse chahte 
ये दूरियां जीने ना दे हाल में so relaxed ना पता He's wants, he wants the audience to sing along. Back into the chorus now. And he just keeps going. Man, someone call Kenny G. That is a long-held note. Yeah. I don't know how long that was. That the That's what everyone was waiting for. They were all singing along. They knew it was coming. Uh, let's hear it again. Where does he start that? Back here? Eva. Holding his position there, making sure he's got good vocal alignment. Though he's, he's, his neck is, or his chin is extended. That's pretty impressive. That's a long note. Interesting. Interesting how he ended it there. Um, it seemed like he kind of went off pitch a little bit. Uh, that can happen when you are, I think, is that it? Is that, is that it? Hang on. And I forgot to tell you one oh, thing. He's got more to say. Baby, I love you. Oh, they all love him too. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, so that must be the grand finale of the whole night. I don't know. He went out into the audience there. Um, interesting. Wow. And T. Fazlam, this is my introduction into this singer. I'm not sure. Maybe there is another song that uh, is representative of the full breadth of his vocal style. It seems to me we get a, a glimpse of what he is capable of in terms of like a more supported sound. But I will say this. Singing in that sort of breathy approach for an extended period of time can be as vocally tiring as singing full out. Now, it's it's a different kind of vocal fatigue. Your body's fine because you're not using a lot of energy in your body, but your your vocal cords, um, they can get stressed out by um, having them not properly properly occlude completely, meaning they don't come together um, in uh, vocal, fold, vocal fold adduction. This is something that many vocal coaches will warn against at, or rather uh, caution against. Don't do it too much. It's great as a color um, to bring in a little bit more intimacy into your tone, but if you do it for too long, like all night long, you can actually really uh, uh, create some vocal fatigue that can have some lasting effects. Handsome guy singing a beautiful love song. There you go. Um, so uh, let me know what your thoughts. Let me know, did I miss the mark here? Or is there more to mine here with Antif Aslam? Maybe there's uh, another selection that uh, I could look at and have a, you know, have a greater understanding of what his voice is doing. Um, if you're a young singer who's wanting to mine the depths of your own voice or uh, look at finding your own unique style, I strongly recommend you reach out to a vocal coach. There's lots of us out here in YouTube land. Um, best way to do it, though, is connect with a local coach. If you can't, um, you can connect with one of us. Uh, if you want to work with me, I'll leave a link in the description below. And yeah, if you have made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time. <laughs>